This is my priority portal. It's a very simple but powerful system that I use to manage my tasks. It is designed to be simple, to cut through the noise, and to spotlight the most important priorities so I can keep making consistent progress every day without feeling overwhelmed. It is entirely done in Apple Notes. You don't need anything else to run this, and I'm gonna show you how it works right now. So the priority portal acts as a gateway for my tasks. And as you can see, it's divided into six sections. Today, Chase, Master Task List, Not To Do List, Notes, which is where I keep some random notes during the day that I reorganize later on, and done. So six sections, it's a very streamlined interface, and as you can see, the sections are actually collapsed to remove visual clutter. During my normal day, the two sections that are opened and the ones that I focus on are today and chase. I'm gonna demonstrate this later on. But everything actually starts from the master task list. So let's cover that first. So everything starts in the master task list. And during the day, I treat it as a brain dump. Every time I have a new idea, I come up with a task, uh, there is an action on me, a request, something comes up, I just jot it down as a single line in the master task list. And then I don't do anything else with it unless it's either a very quick thing that I can complete in less than two minutes, in which case I do that immediately, or it's a very urgent or important thing, and I want to tackle it immediately. As I said, I write everything down as a single line, but if I need more space, maybe to add some details, instead of cluttering the interface, I prefer to create a linked note. So I give it a title, I create the link, and then on that note, I write anything that could relate to this task. And at that point, I have no problems with space. I can jot down whatever I want. And it's ready for me to revisit whenever I need it, just by clicking on the link. There are other types of content that I may want to drag to my master task list, and one of the most typical are emails. In that case, it is actually very easy to drag an email from my mail program to Apple Notes. A link will be created automatically, and when I click on that link, I go straight to that email. The same thing is actually possible on my iPhone as well. What I need to do is to say, take an email, tap and move and shake until it starts moving. And then I can go back to my note and drop this email in the master task list. And this has now created a link to that email. I can then convert it into a checklist item and it's done. It's now in my master task list. So once a master task list is complete, which especially at the beginning could be a complete brain dump, it's time to move to the next phase, which is the sorting and planning phase. In this phase, I go through the entire master task list and decide what to do with every single item. And I go through a sort of an inverse process, a sort of process of elimination, where only the residual tasks are, the, um, are gonna be part of the task pool from which I choose the three most important tasks. So every day I go through my master task list and I apply my 3D principle to define what is important to me. The three Ds stand for delete, deflect, and do. So the first thing that I do is to try and see whether I can delete that task. Maybe that's not important for me anymore. Maybe I jotted it down without thinking too well about what that was about. In any case, if there is something that I do not want to do, I drag it to my not to do section I add a little explanation as to why I've decided not to complete that task. And this way, I'm gonna create over time a framework of reasons why I may decide not to complete some tasks. This becomes more and more useful over time to bounce back requests as soon as they arrive. The second thing to do if I can't delete a task is to try and see if I can deflect, if I can delegate that task. Is there anyone that can do it more quickly or better than me? It's a very typical thing in an office environment. For example, if you receive a request to produce a document that will take you hours to produce, but maybe there is another team that specializes in that type of content, you can simply forward that email to that team and then it will be something for them to complete. You may want to keep an eye on this, maybe you want to chase, maybe you want to jot down to chase that thing in your chase section, but effectively you've deflected a task to a better person. So after I've tried to delete tasks or delegate tasks, the next thing to do, the next D is do. I need to do these things. I want to do these things actually. I go with the assumption that if something is in, on my to-do list, then I want to complete it. So I need to choose three tasks 
and I will drag them to my today section. Why three? Well, I think that if I move and complete three valuable items every day in a year, I will complete more than a thousand important and valuable tasks, which to me is a great result. And there is nothing preventing me from adding more tasks during the day once I've completed my three important tasks. Sometimes I find it useful to plan my day and put on my calendar the tasks that I want to complete at the time I want to complete them. Um, this is very easy now on my Mac, but also on my iPhone, because there is a calendar integration between events and reminders now. So every time I drag an item, I can decide whether I want to keep it as a calendar event, maybe because I want to time block something, or as a reminder. So in this case, for example, there is a presentation that I need to send by 4 p.m. And by the way, as you can see, there is the option in Apple Notes to create an event because it's able to recognize there is a time there. But in this case, I will have to fill in the form completely. I much prefer to click on the checklist item and drag the entire thing to my calendar. At that point, on this little window, I can customize the entry. I can um, extend the time. If I need to send this by 4 p.m., then of course I need to work on it for a few hours. And that's it. Now I'll go a calendar event. And I can do the same thing for the other two items. I can drag them in and decide whether I want to create them as reminders or maybe time block uh, one of those tasks because it's important to me. In this example, this calendar is, of course, clear because this is just a demo. But in, in a real-life situation, this day could be already packed with appointments, maybe meetings uh, that your colleagues have invited you to. And if that's the case, then there is the additional challenge to remove something from the calendar to make space for your three important tasks. So at this point, there are just two additional sections that we haven't touched on. One is the chase section. Sometimes I'm not able to complete a task on my own. I need to wait on someone else to provide me with a proposal, with a document or whatever. So I drag that item from the today section to the chase section and I keep an eye on these things on a daily basis. On occasions, I may want to drag one of those items from the chase section to my calendar just to have a reminder that I need to do something if in the meantime I haven't received the document that I was waiting for. The other section is the done section, which is a very important section. And every time I complete something, I drag it down to the done section and I add some closure notes if needed. A little explanation or maybe the outcome of that task or whatever I've achieved could be added there. I don't do it all the time, but when it's useful, I do it because this little list can also be used as a sort of a diary of the things that I've completed during my days. And at this point, the last thing to do is to duplicate this note so that I can use it tomorrow to plan my day. I change the day at the top and I can then repeat the process to plan my three important things for the next day. So, Priority Portal, completely done in Apple Notes. I hope you find it useful. Let me know in the comments below. And for now, thank you very much for watching and see you soon.